Matt Smith here with Family First Life Northwest. Thanks for having me on our first virtual sales conference. It's an honor and privilege to be here and be able to share with you on different facets for you and your business to level up. So the one thing I know about each level, it's gonna require a new version of yourself. So when you think of a video game and you think there's 20 different levels, if you get stuck on level five, you'd be pretty frustrated. I think most people in our lives get stuck on a certain level and we never advance. So I'm gonna talk to you about some things for you to think about so you can start to achieving to that next level. So whether you're a producer that's never written one policy and you're trying to write one, or you've written one and you're trying to write five in a week, or you're a gold producer and you're trying to get to platinum, or you're a senior sales manager and you're trying to get to VP, or you're an executive board member, or wherever you're, you're at in this business, there's always a new level for you to achieve. And it's important for you to understand that you're probably going to suck at that next level. But the key aspect to getting to a new level is understanding that it's gonna take more of yourself in order to do so. So in life, we always have people that will overachieve, we'll have people that will you know, achieve, and we'll have underachievers. And what we're really talking about is First, we need to define what your capacity is. Understanding your capacity in business is really gonna help you propel and get to that next level, next version of yourself. So number one is it starts with your day. So you know, there's 86,400 seconds in a day. I've trained on some things before where you can break your day into three different six hour days. And you could go from 6 a.m. to noon, noon to 6 p.m., 6 p.m. to midnight. And if you break your, your days up into many days, I think you're gonna achieve much more. I also believe that if you just write down five tasks per day and conquer those five tasks every day, every single day, in and out, 365 days a year, what you'll find is you'll let that compounding effort take place and really start to propel you into that next level. So that's number one conquer your day, understand we all have 24 hours, you need to make sure and make the most of it, eliminate as much white space on your calendar in order to get to that next level. The next thing in regards to your capacity is understanding your network. Are you utilizing your entire network? You know, the great thing about having a network is these are your friends, family members, professional colleagues, people you've met, come and gone in your life. Are you tapped in enough where you can either show them this opportunity and share it with them or you could utilize your clients are you asking for referrals and utilizing their networks so it's important to identify what your network is and then take advantage of that network the next is your the tools and resources you have here at family first life so you literally have live dials on every team on zoom are you plugged in are you reporting your numbers? Do you track your numbers? Do you understand your numbers? Do you understand, you know, you can you call a lead, your contact to appointment to sit ratio to close. How many apps are you selling? How many referrals? How many door knocks? All these tools and resources are there for you to conquer this business. It's important. Are you utilizing advanced market sales and their training on Thursdays? The AMS training is second to none. It's gonna allow you to get into verticals that you may not be producing in currently. Index universal life, fixed index annuities. These are aspects where you can make six figures in addition to what you're already currently making. You've got the next level live call on Fridays. You've got your own management and team calls. There are so many resources, it's really hard if you are truly trying to not win with FFL. So make sure that you're utilizing the tools and resources that's gonna take your business to the next level. And then you need to look at your capacity in regards to your talent. Be self-aware enough to say, okay, maybe I'm really good at final expense and I need to evolve and expand in regards to the hiring aspect of, the, of your business. Or maybe I'm really good with specific internet leads in mortgage protection, simplified issue, but I really could look at how to locate and find premiums for more IUL business. It's important to understand how your talent base is going to be so we can 
uh, address that and get you into different verticals to make sure that you conquer this business as best you can. Also, your capacity in regards to your money. How aggressive are you when it comes to leads? Do you have an offensive mindset? Not only when it comes to leads, are you aggressive in regards to staff? Are you aggressive in regards to your marketing budgets? Do you have an office? These are all goals that should be short-term goals for you because the sooner we get you hiring, promoting, writing more business, the more successful that you're gonna be. Also, you have a lot of different great, great mentors in this business. So you're gonna have great mentors in your own agency, you're gonna have great mentors outside your agency. I think it's really important to identify a few inside and a few outside and you know make sure that you're not taking a ton of people's time. Be specific with questions and answers you need. And a phone call to a mentor should not be longer than five minutes. You could get five minutes and you can move to that next section. It's, it's important for you to understand as well. So now that we talked about your capacity, I think it's important to understand in the beginning, being an overachiever, achiever, underachiever. So I look at myself, for example, and I think I've been an achiever. Uh, I don't think I've underachieved, but I don't think I've overachieved because I truly don't think I've reached my potential or even came close to it. I, I bet you for the most part, all of our management team, board members and above, feel the exact same way that they're just scratching on the surface. This, this is just the beginning. Well, guess what? If you're having success, my main message to you is this is just the beginning and you're headed to that next level, no question. So let's talk about ways that you can reach your full potential and again, level up in business. First, does it really matter to you? Does this job this opportunity matter to you because if it doesn't if you're not somebody that's competitive looking at leaderboards going to bed thinking about insurance waking up thinking about it, insurance thinking about helping families think about doing extra work then i don't know if we can necessarily help you i can't put in you what you don't already have so you first you need to ask yourself does this matter to you because if it doesn't this might not be right for you because it's got, in order to make a difference, you have to care. It's like meeting a client that doesn't have a why. Really difficult for someone that doesn't have a designated beneficiary that they care about to sell life insurance to. Well, guess what? It's gotta matter to you too. So that's, that's the first and step to reach your full potential. The next I need to know about you is, are you proactive or are you just reactive? Meaning when you make your first set of dials, do you know the phone script in and out and you can literally navigate and overcome a, the small objections that we get to close deals? Are you someone that does actually have proper prior preparation, prevents poor performance? Are you someone that prepares enough when the lights are on you that you can actually have success in the business? The reason I'm bringing this up is too many people will get on the phone and wing it Get in, the get in the home and wing it. Whether they're doing marketing, talking to people, they wing it and they expect greatness. My message to you is you have to prepare. You have to be proactive. There's not a better feeling when we start to work with agents that take this serious and they're utilizing all the tools and resources here at Family First Life. The next scenario to reach your full potential is where is all your energy going? So your energy starts with, right, nutrition, you know, whether you work out or not. I think those are all aspects to increase energy levels. However, where is your focus on a daily basis? So again, we have 86,400 seconds every single day of our life, 24 hours a day. It's important for you to identify you know, if you have a fight with your partner or your spouse, or if you've got all these ancillary things or you have money problems, that takes your energy. So your ability to focus through this, identify how you can maintain high peaks of energy, you're gonna get more done in the day. So as I mentioned, to conquer that day, break it up into three, six hour days, no white space, and you'll start to have those compounding net efforts as, as well. The next scenario is how fast 
are you able to move through difficulties? So are you someone when a policy gets charged back or things don't go your way, does it take forever for you to get back up on your feet? Or are you someone that actually attacks it with vigor, takes care of that chargebacks, keeps moving forward, buys more leads, stays on offense? Because if you stay offensive minded in this business, it's going to treat you right. But I tell you what, you take care of your business, the business will take care of you. And the one thing I would say is if you don't stay on offense in this business, defense never wins when it comes to being proactive, when it comes to going to the next level. Your next scenario is, are you competing up? So first you need to look at your, your agency. Maybe the agency's small. Are you your number one agent inside your agency? If you're not, you should be. And then if you're not the, the number one agent in your agency, are you number one agent in your whole hierarchy? Or are you a number one agent in the entire company? Or are you dominating on such a high level, we sell more insurance than anybody in this, in this business, are you competing against everyone? Because the more you expand the competition base, the more competitive you get, and the more that you compete upward, instead of looking at small circles and staying that way, the more that you start to level up. Are you setting goals that scare you? So goals are definitely not enough. I mean, you know, you need to have dreams to have the vision, right? To have the proper vision where you want to go. The goals are the catalyst to get you to those dreams. But also the one thing that a lot of people don't talk about enough is, do you attach meaningful reasons to each goals? What is your true why in the business? What are you doing this for? So when times get tough, you're not gonna worry about your goals, but you will be concerned about your reasons. So understand if you attach reasons to this, your business is going to the next, next level. The other thing is, are you getting the help that you need? So are you willing to fix yourself to take your business to the next level? Identify problems about yourself and move through them quicker, quicker quickly, right? Um, the other scenario that I would say is you need to make sure and create a lead problem for yourself. What I mean by lead problem, the best months I've ever had in regards to personal production was when I was buying so many leads that it didn't give me a choice but to work. The problem is, is when you're always recalibrating buying leads when you absolutely need them, that's not that you have to be on a standing order on a BPL. You have to be aggressive on the cherry pick. You have to buy social media leads. You have to do every single vendor for you to get to that next level. So are you creating leads is extremely important as well. The next scenario that you need to look at is look at your circle of influence. The top five people you hang around are exactly who you probably are. Meaning if, if you hang around people that make $50,000 a year, you probably make 50 grand a year. If you're hanging around somebody that makes six figures, you're probably making six figures. If you're hanging around somebody that makes multiple six figures, you're probably making multiple six figures, then seven. The list goes on and on. There's probably a few key people in your inner circle that you need to audit and you need to make some changes because they're bringing you down. It's that similarity of crabs in the bucket where they just want to pull you down and make sure you stay at their level. Well, if we're gonna get to the next level, we're gonna need to increase your circle so we can start to get to where you want to do, where you want to be in regards to your full potential. And then lastly is are you someone that is willing to do extra. So when you've met your quota or your goal for the week in regards to dialing in appointments for your first dial session on Monday, maybe you've got 16 appointments, are you willing to dial for another hour? Are you, really, are you willing to put the time and effort and energy into this? Because I promise you this, when I've got the best results in this business, it's always been getting to this next level. And it's always been doing more work than is required of you. So if you're wanting to make a change and make a difference in your life, in order to get to the next level, it's re just remember, it's gonna require a new version of yourself. Thanks for your time.